you know, and might as well tell you a joke in the meantime. If you don't laugh, then you have to leave. Okay, so when I was, I was studying economics, and I don't know why I was doing that, but I was studying macroeconomics when I was in college, and our professor was uh, a Chinese fellow. He was, uh, he was doing his PhD in New York City, and he was, he was a macroeconomics professor, and he spoke in a very heavy Chinese accent. And there were 300 students in the class. I mean, this is some of the best sleep I ever had in my life. <laughs> but in any case, so he used to, he used to give his lecture, and when he would give his lecture, like, you really try to listen, you didn't understand until he said, exam tomorrow. I was <laughs> like, so the entire class, 300 students, we wrote a petition to the department, please, we cannot take an exam, we don't understand what this man is saying. <laughs> so, he got very upset. He got angry at the entire class. So the next day he came to class and he said, he, you know, he put a PowerPoint on the screen and he said, Professor Wang's list of complaints against English. He says, you complain about my English, I complain about English. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, the English language doesn't make any sense. You, you know, and especially in, in the US, we, we say things like you park on a driveway and you drive on a parkway, right? So, <laughs> you know, and, and the plural of house is what? No, the plural of mouse is what? Mice, but the plural of house is not heist. <laughs> and, and, and tooth is teeth, teeth but booth is not beef. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so he had a whole list of these complaints. You know, and he went through, he took 45 minutes and went through all of them, right? <laughs> It was the best economics class I've ever had.